This is my housemate's potted plant. It's in my attic on 22 April 2017 at my house near Albany, New York, USA. The pot was outside in summer 2016, but in fall 2016, my housemate brought the plant inside into the attic for winter. The plant has been inside for about six months now. Even so, its soil contains lots of bugs, mostly small white springtails and slightly larger reddish and yellowish mites. I put my finger near the soil here to give a sense of scale. In addition to these bugs, the potted plant also hosted this insect, perhaps a moth. I also saw a slug hiding under dying plant stems. The soil contained this crawling bug. And on the side of the pot was this woodlouse. The woodlouse had a very tiny bug on its back. This picture clearly demonstrates the significant size differences that exist even among arthropods. Finally, the attic floor contained this fly, which seemed to have trouble walking. I'm uncertain if it was in the potted plant or if it was just wandering into the attic from somewhere else. The plant had been slightly overwatered and some of the water spilled out onto the floor. Unfortunately, I also accidentally spilled a bit of the plant's soil into the water that spilled onto the floor. Regrettably, that soil probably contained some bugs, including this tiny thin worm that you can see wriggling about in the water. Since the bugs in the soil were terrestrial, I worried that they might drown in the water, so I put a paper towel over the dirt that had fallen into the water. Here's what the floor looked like after I applied and then lifted off the paper towel. You can see what looks like a tiny springtail in the upper left. In general, I oppose keeping house plants like these because they perform photosynthesis and create additional plant food, which may eventually force additional bugs to be born into short lives that will soon end with possibly painful deaths. Unfortunately, my housemate doesn't agree with me on this, so we're stuck with this houseplant.